Welcome to our recognition of all those who lead our way in the marketplaces of our country. The ELC's Achievement Award recognizes black corporate executives whose breathtaking career achievements highlight personal and professional excellence. Leaders who not only benefited their own corporations, but who also dedicated themselves to advancing diversity and inclusion. Tonight's honorees join an esteemed set of leaders. Past recipients of the ELC's Achievement Award include Ken Chenault, Ann Fudge, Ingrid Saunders-Jones, Magic Johnson, Roger Ferguson, Deborah Lee, Ken Frazier, and the late Bernard Tyson, Grant Hill, and Robert Smith, to name a few. These men and women changed the landscape and the future for Black executives. We stand on their shoulders, the shoulders of giants. And this evening, we have the honor and privilege of adding two more outstanding CEOs to this list, Roz Brewer and Tisunda Brown Duckett. I want to emphasize the historic importance of this moment. Not long ago, there were no black female CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. Tonight, the ELC is honoring two black women, both CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. Their accomplishments are made all the more significant because black CEOs are currently losing ground in corporate America. It would take a long time to enumerate the many accomplishments of tonight's recipients. So I will only offer a few highlights from their stellar careers. First, Roz Brewer. Roslyn or Roz Brewer is the second permanent black female CEO of a Fortune 500 company. She joined Walgreens Boots Alliance as chief executive officer in March of this year. She also serves as director on WBA's board. Previously, Roz served in numerous executive positions at companies that have become household names, chief operating officer and group president at Starbucks, president and chief executive officer of Sam's Club, and executive leadership positions with Walmart. She has also served as president of global non-woven division for Kimberly Clark Corporation and held various management positions at that global health and hygiene products company beginning in 1984. She currently serves as the chairperson of the board of trustees for Spelman College, where she did her undergraduate work. Roz is also a board member of the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture. She previously served on the board of directors for Starbucks, Amazon, Lockheed Martin Corporation, and Molson Coors Brewing Company. Please join me in welcoming the Chief Executive Officer, Walgreens Boots Alliance, Rosalind Brewer. Thank you to the Executive Leadership Council for this prestigious honor of the 2021 Achievement Award. Special thanks to the Executive Leadership Council CEO, Michael Heider, and the event organizers who planned this wonderful virtual recognition gala. And I'm humbled and grateful for the warm introduction by Ursula Burns, who paved the way for women like me to lead at this level. I'd also like to congratulate my fellow honoree, the Sunda Brown Duckett. This year's annual recognition gala theme of celebrating our impact, inspiring our future, really resonates with me. This past year has been a year like no other. I started at Walgreens Boots Alliance in March of this year, just a few months into COVID vaccine administration. And I'm deeply inspired by the company's role in our communities, particularly in underserved communities. This has been an all in moment as a global company, and this is deeply personal to me. I have a rare opportunity as CEO to advocate for social change and health equity while leading the transformation of the company. Walgreens Boots Alliance has been and will continue to be committed to keeping all communities healthy across the globe. All are welcome and included at our stores and pharmacies across Walgreens Boots Alliance. Inclusion is central to who we are and what we do. 
Achieving this award reminds me of my early days of my career, when I was that really quiet young woman just leaving Spelman College and really not having any self-esteem, not much direction, but a lot of fight. And I look back on that and see where I am now, and it makes me reflective on those who came before me. People like Ann Fudge, people like Indra Nui, Ursula Burns, that either gave me the wink and the nod, a phone call, or just seeing them in action made me feel so much more confident. So thank you for this opportunity to be part of this event. I firmly believe that sharing our experiences with one another in an honest and authentic way helps to drive meaningful conversation for change. It's my great hope that next year and beyond, the Executive Leadership Council will be honoring many more black female CEOs. Thank you. Congratulations, Roz. Our second recipient of the ELC's 2021 Achievement Award is the third permanent black female CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Tasunda Brown Duckett is President and Chief Executive Officer of TIAA. This Fortune 100 firm provides secure retirements and outcome focused investment solutions for millions of people working in healthcare higher education, and other mission-driven organizations. Tassunda leads a company whose mission is defined by financial inclusion and opportunity, goals and values that she has upheld throughout her career. She joined TIAA after serving as Chief Executive Officer of Chase Consumer Banking, where she oversaw a banking network with more than $600 billion in deposits and 50,000 employees. Previously, she was the CEO of Chase Auto Finance, one of the leading US providers of auto financing and national retail sales executive for Chase Mortgage Banking, where she managed 4,000 mortgage bankers. Earlier in her career, Tasunda was a director of emerging markets at Fannie Mae, where she led the implementation of national strategies designed to increase home ownership among Black and Hispanic Americans. She serves on numerous boards, including Nike Incorporated, Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights, Sesame Workshop, the National Medal of Honor Museum, the Economic Club of New York, and the University of Houston Board of Visitors, and Dean's Advisory Board for Baylor University's Hankammer School of Business. She is a member of the Executive Leadership Council, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and Jack and Jill of America Incorporated. The Sunda founded the Rosie and Otis Brown Foundation in honor of her parents to recognize and reward people who use ordinary means to empower and uplift their community in extraordinary ways. She is passionate about helping communities of color close achievement gaps in wealth creation educational outcomes, and career success. In addition to her outstanding accomplishments in the corporate suite, the Sunda embodies the definition of an ELC member. She's engaged, she participates, and she is active within the organization. She attributes her relationship with the ELC to her trajectory and recognizes the value of membership. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President and Chief Executive Officer of TIAA and recipient of the ELC's 2021 Achievement Award, the Sunda Brown Duckett. Thank you so much, Ursula. I am immensely grateful and humbled to receive this recognition. To have it be presented by you makes it that much more meaningful. Your career and the example you set for all corporate leaders, but especially, of course, for women of color, has been extraordinary. You truly have been a trailblazer. I have to begin by thanking the ELC and Mike Heider for this honor. I've benefited greatly, both personally and professionally, by being part of ELC and appreciate the many connections and friendships I've made through this great organization. I also want to congratulate Roz Brewer. If I'm going to be a member of such a small club, I can't imagine a better fellow club member. She's a warm, generous woman 
and a strong, exceptional leader. I am indebted to so many people who have been part of my journey. There's a legion of friends, colleagues, and family who have brought me to this moment. My story, of course, begins with my upbringing, with my parents, Otis and Rosie Brown. I come from very modest beginnings, but from the time I was very young, my parents taught me the importance of doing whatever you do with excellence. They told me to reach for the moon because even if I missed, I would be among the stars. They encouraged me to think big, take risks, and grab the opportunities that came my way. One of those was En-ROADS, which was my entree into corporate America through an internship at Fannie Mae. There, I developed the passion and purpose that have driven me to this day. The passion around financial health for all and the purpose of inspiring and doing all that I can to help others and to help people see those who are unseen. Sadly, the pandemic has made gender and racial inequalities even worse. And all sectors of society, including corporate America, have to do their part to combat inequity, to be the change. I love so much about TIAA, but there is one thing I really love, and that is our Be The Change platform. Through this movement, TIAA is committed to challenging systemic racism by adopting and promoting anti-racist policies within our company. It's about accountability on the power of one, and it's also about allyship. We have to acknowledge that we as individuals can start great things, but cannot do it all by ourselves, and recognize there is power in the collective voice. That's the mindset all of us need to have to bring about real, lasting change in the compositions of our boardrooms and C-suites. There's much progress we can point to, but the numbers don't lie when it comes to how many black CEOs we have and how many blacks hold senior management positions across corporate America. I think you'd agree that talent is created equally, but opportunity is not. We have to use our individual and collective voices to fix the pipeline. I know there's still a job to be done. When I occasionally get discouraged about still being in rooms where I'm the only, I remind myself of the words of the giant we lost last year, Congressman John Lewis. He said, we should not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. Our struggle is not the struggle of a day, a week, a month, or a year. It's the struggle of a lifetime. Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. I am committed to continue to do everything I possibly can, working with my amazing colleagues at TIAA, with my peers in the industry, and with great organizations like the ELC to help see the unseen, to get into good, necessary trouble, and to be the change. Thank you again for this tremendous honor.